All right, today we're digging up a humpback whale. She died um, around Christmas time of, of 2015, and so she's been buried in compost for about six months going on now. We're gonna dig her up. Um, as you can see, a lot of the bones are fairly clean, and we're gonna wash them with soap and water, um, and then we're gonna take them to another site where they're gonna lay out in the sun, and that'll bleach them cleaner a little bit as well. And then later this fall, we're gonna start uh, articulating the skeleton and working with uh, the Stadium High School uh, students. I kind of equate this with building a deck. So about the technical knowledge that you need to build a deck, you can articulate a whale. It just has some tweaks. No, because the arm's got to be out here. If this oh, that's right. Or, I mean, got it backwards, yeah. Are we like that? I mean, we're either going to be like this, or we're going to be like that. Right. But, okay. but it was in the ground like this, yep. with right? Yeah, with the arm down that. this that's way. Okay. So we're dorsal so, left. Dorsal left. Yeah. Dorsal. Uh, the other thing is making sure that you get all the goo off, uh, which is just time, letting them compost long enough. And this is one of the few pieces that has actual flesh still attached, isn't it? Yeah. How smelly is it? <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty bad, uh, if you're right up next to it. We're gonna have 17, 16 kids working on our friend here. They will probably get to name her, or at least help with naming her, and they'll get to put her together as an exhibit down at the seaport. I think this is a once in a lifetime experience. I suspect some of the kids will come back 50 years from now, point up the rafters and show their grandkids and tell stories about putting this uh, poor girl together. But I think you know she's gonna be a real asset to the community and we're gonna enjoy her for hopefully decades, maybe even a couple centuries, you never know.